Hey guys, I'm Carl. We're here at the XE hangar today. I'm gonna answer a few questions about the built diesel five trucks. First question, where do babies come from? All right, I got this one, guys. Uh, I was curious about that myself. So I had, over Thanksgiving, I had my grandma explain it to me. Oh, your grandma, is that in Wells? In Wells. Has that red light. That, that sweet place. old lady. Yeah, she's got a couple, couple whorehouses out there. You ever pass them through Wells? <sighs> Tell her Redbeard sent you to get a family discount. Mm. Uh, she, <laughs> I'm a little hazy on the details because she was drawing pictures and they're squiggly. She's got shaking a little bit, but she she's very does. clear that it involved a man and a woman and the back of a diesel pickup truck. But it's got to be your diesel. It's got to be your. Well, no, your that's not necessary. That's false. That's, that's false. That's, it can, it can be, be a buddies. As long as it's not a rental. So just no samesies. Wait, do they oh, yeah, rent it can't diesels? Be, it's got to be man, woman. No samesies. No samesies. Nope. That's nope. why I said it can't She's be very clear about that. <laughs> okay, there's your answer. Next question. Which of the trucks is going to be the fastest? Well, that's well, I'm going to be the Durham. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Pure horses. horses. We all know it's the built 6.4. It's 800 horses. Let's just. A week ago, we thought the motor was out on the 6.4. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It rock and rolls now. It's you guys have seen the motor. Maybe the the cab was 15 feet in the air. <laughs> it's the fastest one. <laughs> we played basketball. You need a little bit lighter of a jockey to drive it. Yeah, it's his truck actually one. might be fast as long as he's not driving. Have you ever seen him drive? Here we go. Here we go. How much money is in these trucks and why give them away? Well, I'll answer that question. All of it. All of it. All of our money's in these trucks. We're kind of out of money. And we give them away because- You guys had money? Here's why we give them away. No. We are just hoping and praying and crossing our fingers that one day, somebody will give us a cool reaction when they win one. One want. cool reaction. That's all, all we we're waiting for. Maybe hey, I got a truck. like a jump in the air. Maybe you just get excited. Maybe a Banana tears. high five. Spill their some, beverage. Some tears would be per- I Or would. cheers. That's honestly, I mean, that's kind of what we're shooting for. I guess that's the day it. that we get a good reaction, we might just we close just up shop up. and- Just done. It's been a good run, but until then. Shop. Diesel Dave, have you ever thought of owning a Prius? I owned a Prius once. Next question, guys. Will these trucks get me laid? Short answer, yes. The, any one of these trucks would even get a Honda Accord driving hipster with a ponytail laid. Hey, you find your phone? Yep. Yeah, all right. What are the chances of someone actually winning? Uh, 100%. 100%. Somebody's gonna win. I yes. think the better question is, what are the chances of somebody being excited when they win? That's, that's, that's one we don't know the answer to. That's up It's like there. 12%. And I think you were probably trying to ask, what are the odds of winning? We don't know. We just got a shipment of crossbows. Yeah, I've been counting those. And that's been... You ever tried to count 2,000 crossbows? You get to about seven and then you start loading a crossbow. Every time. And then time. you lose count. You made it that far? Yeah. It's pretty he good. did make it to seven. Yeah. yeah. Next question. Next question. If the winner is from Canada, how will they receive their prize? The same way any red-blooded American would. Hold on right there. We uh, <laughs> need to clarify real quick. You see there's been this misunderstanding. Here's Keaton's America. Here's the real America. We love you, Canada, and we apologize for anything the meat curtain has ever said to offend you. Take off and meet us at the border, eh, you hooser? <laughs> Next question is, how much coal would a diesel truck roll if a diesel truck could roll coal? Stop it. You know who you are. You ask this question every single time. You're yelling at a seven-year-old. Seven year old. Year old. We don't know. We're stumped by your riddle. And you know what else? Rolling coal is bad. <laughs> Our next question is, who got the truck for a buck, or was it a hoax? Definitely not a hoax. A good example of a hoax is... Is when you say you're going to give away a Jeep, and then you never announce a winner. Hashtag didn't give it away. Hashtag, that's bad. You want to do a hashtag? Hashtag, no Jeep for you. Hashtag, <laughs> Granny Redbeard's going to get you. She's always going to get you. Hashtag, Granny Redbeard got me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so 
the winner of the first truck for Buck was Matt Jones from Oklahoma, and the second one was Jacob Hearn from Texas. Texas. Now, keep in mind, these guys have not received their prizes yet because, A, it's been the holidays, B, we're taking these trucks and we're still doing some work on them. The first gen is receiving a factory paint job. Uh, the Ford's pretty much ready to go, uh, but we're just making sure these sh trucks are in tip-top condition before we deliver them to the, uh, the winners. Yes. The owners. And if you guys like the truck for a buck, there's many, many, many more to Whoa. come. So save your bucks. Yeah, keep your bucks handy. Does the grand prize winner pay for taxes or shipping? What do we look like, Kim Jong-un? We're not going to make you do anything you don't want. Communist. And besides, yeah, ta who pays taxes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Remember what Granny Redbeard said about taxes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Grandma always said taxes are for communists. All right, we saved the best question for last. Why do you guys beat on your trucks before you give them away? Hold on right there, Mr. Al Sharpton. You trying to start a riot? Because you're always asking that question. You're always on the Facebook machine and the Instagram and Twitter, and you're always saying things like, hey, that's a stupid video. You're beating up my truck. And I'm like, first of all, that's not your truck. Second of all, it's everybody's truck, and it's a built diesel. That's why we call it the mother <laughs> built diesel giveaway. All right, so calm down. The truck is built with high quality parts. It's meant to go out and perform. It's not meant to sit there in the showroom and look stupid air comma. I don't, I don't wanna know you. I don't know who you are. Stop commenting. If you don't beat on your truck, get out of here. And you know what else? This is in America. Plus, it's not beating on it if it's consensual. Oh, that's, that's true. That's true. Okay. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. Thank you for your questions tonight is the last opportunity for you to enter to win one of these badass trucks or a $20,000 Pimp Your Ride budget. Tonight at midnight, Mountain Standard Time, you gotta get your entries in. Don't hit us up tomorrow and say, I wanna enter the giveaway, because guess what, it's gonna be over, and who knows if we'll do one in the future. I'm just kidding, you know we'll do one. Thank you to you guys, because without you, none of this would have ever happened. This was a crazy, stupid, harebrained idea that we started a couple of years ago, and now it's a massive giveaway making people's dreams come true. And now, T. Marshall and the DPG Boys Choir. I toasted you, said honey, we may be through. You'll never hear me complain. Cause I got friends in lonely places where the whiskey drowns. And that beer chases my blues away.